everyone, teacher Kath here. Today we will going to tackle another two confusing words so you have to buckle your seatbelt. Let's tackle about effect and effect. Okay everyone, buckle your seatbelt because today is hard lesson. I am going to try to explain the difference between effect and effect. Because effect and effects are homophones. You see, I wrote it here, homophones. So when you ask yourself, what is a homophones? Well, homophones are words that sound alike. When you listen to someone who is speaking those words, it seems like, oh, it's the same, but actually it's not. You can just hear it, it's alike, but they are not. You know, they're often confused. And even my friends or someone that I know that they are native English speakers, they always confuse about these two words. Effect is usually a verb. You can see here, I write a red color, effect. You can see here, I write the color red, effect is usually a verb, and effect is usually a noun. A noun that you would use to indicate the result. Effect means result of a change. Or we can do this another way around. You can think that effect is an action. Here, under the word verb, I wrote the word action. You can think effect as an action and effect as a result. Or you can think in another mnemonic uh, ways of thinking so that you can easily remember and not to mix up these two words. Some people use this word as a raven. You have to remember, effect is a verb or action and effect is a noun or a result. Now I am going to give you an example. Your weight is affected by your diet it makes an action and your diet has an effect on your weight effect on your weight it means it makes a change to the result that's why don't mix up the word effect and effect i'll give you another example second example so that um it will uh, really stick onto our brain and not to forget or not to mix up these two confusing homophones. Okay, now don't go, don't uh, off your, your laptop, computer or whatsoever because I'm going to drop another example. Now here is the example number two and don't mind the, don't mind the word weight on top because that is the example from the number one. So let's focus on the example number two. The new teacher has the positive effect on children. The teacher affects the children in a positive way. Okay, guys, these are the two examples that I show you or I given to you today because um, I'm already busy and I have things to do. I hope this can help you and I know it's quite confusing. So if you have any questions, comments, or if you need more if you need more um, examples, just leave your comments down below here and we will get back to you soon. And we're going to make another example or I am going to um, discuss a little bit farther to all of you guys. So this is just a five minutes English for today from Jureen Lestrada channel. I hope you guys um, learn a bit or you, you also enjoy watching this. So, as of now, thank you so much for tuning in. I would like to say bye-bye for everybody for now, but I'm coming back soon because um, I promise to make another video for all of you guys. So, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoy watching and please don't forget to subscribe and you can share it to somebody else, especially to those students. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye, 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 bye. Comment, comment, comment subscribe, subscribe, bye, 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 bye.
Mike, 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 Mike,